Hello, everybody, and welcome to another 2021 Lamley Awards Showcase. It's the end of the year. We get to look back on those models that came out, and we get to pick the best and the worst. This is our first Lamley Awards poll. It is live now on lamleygroup.com, and it's one of our granddaddy polls. Best and worst super treasure hunt, Hot Wheels super treasure hunt of 20. 21. This will be a fun one. It always gets a huge response. Thousands and thousands of votes, lots of opinions. I love doing this poll, and it is ready for you to go vote. One for best, one for worst. You figure out your criteria, and we will go with it. Mattel has been good about sending these to me um, so I can showcase them when they first come out, and also put this like this have them so I can do the Lamley Awards. But because of COVID and the fact that they're not in the office, they're all working remotely, they didn't have, they weren't able to get all of them for me, um, which is totally fine. I actually found a few myself and I needed to rely on other people. We'll get to that. Here's the criteria. I'm going to show you the super. When you're done, go to lamleygroup.com and vote. Best and worst. Whatever your criteria is. Sometimes it's just your favorite model of the 15 supers released. Some people like to vote on the most um, enhanced version, like what looks better. What's the, what's the biggest, um, let's see, how do you say it? What is the biggest improvement as a super over its basic counterpart? You know, you name it, whatever is your least favorite, you know, whatever, casting choice, you can, you can do whatever you want to. You just pick the best and you pick the worst. This is the first one. We're going in chronological order of release, 300ZX. In blue, I will try and refrain from opinions. I do have some favorites here, and I have to figure out which one's going to be mine, which ones I'm going to vote for, but uh, more on that later. Um, we're just going to put them on the turntable. You can have a look at them. I have its basic in the background, but ultimately, you're going to judge this super treasure hunt. This is a plain one. We're seeing more and more of these plain ones. We have a couple this year, three, I think, um, from Hot Wheels, where it's just you know, no enhanced deco. But, you know, the Spectre Flame paint, little TH logo somewhere. And this one, it's on the, where is this one? Oh, on the side, just on one side behind the rear wheel. Um, there will be a TH somewhere on the model to mark treasure hunt. Um, but that is the 300ZX. Next one is that Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. This has been a super before. This is the second time. Uh, first one came in kind of a blue with black, or I'm sorry, the, this, this basic version came in blue with black rims. This one gets the gold real rider treatment, TH on the front. I'll try and tell you if it's got enhanced deco. Um, I don't think so. Like, you know, like I said, the TH might be an enhancement, but it looks like it has the same deco on the top and on the sides. Obviously the wheels are a big difference there with that Corvette. Number three is an interesting one. Roger Dodger it is. And this one is that Magic 8 Ball. Um, first one came in black with black, or the basic came in black with black rims. In fact, to find the Super, I think it was kind of hard. Um, but they did something special with this one in that they, on the bottom, they did the 8 Ball messages, except if you got the Super, it told you you got the Super. It says you got it with the TH logo on the bottom. I don't believe the TH logo shows anywhere else on this model, only on the bottom. So that was unique. That was a unique um, super treasure hunt was the Roger Dodger. Um, you know, one of the only non-licensed, but obviously a Hot Wheels classic. Some people might really like that one. Next one, Mazda RX-7. Another one of the quote-unquote, plain is the wrong word, but it's just what we use because it doesn't have the flames on the side or other deco. Black was the basic version with PR5s. This one gets the chrome six spokes and kind of a... Uh, what was it? Spectre Flame. I guess they call this Spectre Flame black, but it turns into kind of a gunmetal gray. TH logo. Where is it? Very tiny on the rear license plate. But this one obviously gets the front and rear deco, which is nice. It's been, it's, it's had a few decos in the past, this casting. We've seen it premium too, but it was a super treasure hunt this year. Playing along with that 300ZX. We'll get to the third one later. All right. That's the fourth. The fifth one is the K&N Corvette convertible. It's the C7Z06, right? Convertible Corvette. Um, the K&N Deco. Enhancements on this one? Well, the actual model got kind of a drift look because it got gray wheels in the front and kind of these orange copper wheels in the back. But the Super Treasure Hunt just went with the five-spoke reel riders, uh, orange 
lipped on both sides. So this one had a very different look wheels wise, kind of like the other Corvette, the Grand Sport, um, than its regular counterpart. Next one. Okay, this one is an interesting. So this is our second Mazda. We had the RX-7. We also got the RX-3 from this one. You know, was premium. It moved to basic the year before. This one gets Mad Mike Deco. And this was an interesting one because if you have to look really close, you'll see the TH on the bottom of the door. Um, but I think everything else was the same on this one. And because this is technically a Spectre Flame White, which really just makes it kind of a pearl color, you could, it was really hard to tell. I mean, how many of these did I look at and go, well, is that the Super? Because it had the, it had the um, steely plastic wheels on it. And this one has the steely real riders also in black. This one was really, I'm sure people missed this one. Um, but, or we all thought we were finding the Super and it really wasn't. So that was the RX-3. Next one, we go Mustang. So we've had a couple Japanese, we've had some Corvettes. Going back to the Mustang in gold. We'll get this on the turntable so you can see it there. We've got to see it in the proper light. Yellow was the basic version with black 10 spokes. This was a new model the year before. Um, I do like, you know, maybe this is an opinion, but um, in terms of enhancements, the yellow always get the gold look at Super Treasure Hunts, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, the Dodge Demon last year, the year before, had this same kind of look, which is kind of cool. Again, trying to keep away from the opinions, but... Um, Hard to sometimes hard to do it. All right, I don't think it's an opinion to say this one created quite the buzz. It is the Datsun 510 Coupe. Considering how crazy people go for this casting, the fact that this is the first time as a super treasure hunt is pretty cool. Um, this one has this one does have an enhanced deco. The 510 on the roof, the TH on the trunk. Um, this one goes from chrome wheels on the basic to a spectra flame green and these kind of, I don't know what you even call it, kind of this graphite brown kind of color on the four spokes. So I know a lot of people really like that casting. Um, I, I mean, I like the casting too. Obviously it was a, it was a buzzworthy casting for sure, as was its follow-up model. We had the Porsche 356 Outlaw. So golf colors, just like the GT40 the year before, we had golf colors on the uh, regular one um, with the... Uh, kind of the disc hubs and then on in golf colors and then we had the super treasure hunt th on the side uh deco is exactly the same but this one gets that specter flame light blue which really changes the look and then they went with the with the black steely real riders kind of the deep dish steelies um that one was a buzzworthy so you had the Datsun 510 followed by the golf porsche and then the next one the first one we're going to open up one of the ones i found in an unboxing is the Honda Civic Type R in HKS Deco. So let's just get this one open. I've been saving these and it's just time to do it. That's another way to determine if you have a Super, but if you're looking for that, you probably are never gonna find a Super because you've gotta know what you're looking for. You got too many collectors out there trying to find them too. So here it is, the first, the basics in gray with the blue um, PR5 wheels. The Treasure Hunt really gets that dark HKS look. Um, the wheels, this kind of teal bluish color, which is kind of cool. I don't know if there's any enhanced deco per se on this one, um, maybe on the roof, but the HKS deco is pretty iconic, along with the Golf deco behind it. Behind it. But um, this was one that uh, that I think was a was a cool look for the Honda, and we're going to go ahead and add it right to. The display so that could be your best of the year all right next one another one to open we have a lot to open moving forward is the mercury cougar second time this they're calling the 68 mercury cougar second time it's been a super i don't know if you can see this i'll just kind of pull it to the side but if you look right there this was a super treasure hunt two years ago in green with flames this time black real riders but Kind of funny that we get it again, green with flames, this time chrome reel riders. Let's open that one up. And have a look. This is a newer Mercury Cougar casting. Came out, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago compared to the old one. Um, but yeah, maybe you like, it's kind of funny that they really literally did another green with flames Mercury Cougar. Um, different different green, different flames, of course, different wheels, but uh, kind of interesting that they 
went with another one of those. I don't know. You never know how, why they choose what they choose in terms of super treasure hunts. They've, I like that they do mostly licensed models. Um, but um, I think they keep them interesting. All right, next one. We talked about the plain ones. We had the 300ZX and the RX-7. Audi R8 is the next plain one. And this is the first super to sport the new five-spoke reel riders. Audi R8 Spider 2019 Audi R8 Spectre Flame Blue. I'll just show you the card. I mean, you've seen all these, right? But um, now you get to see them in the context of best and worst. Maybe you like this one. TH is on the back of the car, not on the, it's on the back, you know, above the engine actually. Um, and uh, yeah, five spoke chromes, which I think will look really nice. Funny that we don't see, we've only seen these wheels in the chrome style, I think just on the uh, Lamborghini and the exotics car culture, right? So cool to see them here um, on the Audi R8. I, I, again, is this an opinion? I guess, but I mean the enhancement from the PR5 wheels to these, I mean, that's just, you know, the magic of a super treasure hunt is finding them. Sometimes, you know, I don't care how ugly or how awful a casting is. It's just fun to find a super. But I think there are times, too, again, if this is your criteria, where putting the real riders on the model really enhance it. Ultimately, like, if you compare these to car culture, car culture models, they'll always like the car culture more. But I don't know. I mean, there's, you know, some pretty cool-looking cars, even if they weren't super treasure hunts in this batch. Again, is that an opinion of mine? Is that my criteria for this? No, but I'll let you know my favorite eventually when we do the results show. All right, next one is the 49 Ford F1 pickup. The one that Graham sent me in a Spectre Flame purple. Hard to go against Spectre Flame purple. It really, really shines on this one. Same deco. Is there any enhancement? I think it's the same on the... Uh, there's the car. I think it's the same on the uh, regular, too, except that one gets white wall five spokes, which is cool enough. But the Super Treasure Hunt with this five spoke reel riders looks pretty darn cool. Um, that purple really pops on this one. No opinions, John. No opinions. No opinions. No opinions. Yeah. Do not express opinions. That is a Super Treasure Hunt in purple. Purple is nice. All right, next one. This is a casting that you knew was going to hit the super treasure hunt, uh, super treasure hunt list eventually, and it finally did. It is the '64 Nova Wagon Gasser. You can look at it here, and it's kind of brighter blue version with the gray five spokes. Um, Brendan Vitesky took the Nova Wagon, turned it into a Gasser, and it also was a super treasure hunt. Interesting one because I pulled this one from an unboxing on the lower side of the 72 count case, which I'd never done before. Um, this one, I believe, the TH, I think it has the stripes up top. So we're not seeing a lot of, like, like a great amount of additional deco this year on the Super Treasure Hunts. A little bit here and there. Well, maybe not, actually. Maybe they're all the same. Um, it's just the Spectre Flame paint and the Real Riders. I don't know why I'm not opening this one. I should do that. There it is. Dark five spokes are really cool on this one. Um, I like the Nova Wagon Gasser. It's a unique take on the Nova Wagon. I think they put the thin tires because they don't have they don't have real riders that are thin like they do on the basic wheels. I think there's a reason that's kind of hard to put together. All right, one more. You've looked at them all. Here's the last one. It is the Shelby Cobra, Cobra 427 SC, an old style Hot Wheels casting. It's been updated a little bit. I think you know. I don't know if it looks a lot different than um, than the old Shelby, but. Uh, the casting has been updated. This is another one that looks very similar to its basic counterpart. You can see it on the turntable. So let's just get it opened up and have a look in Spectre Flame Red. The only Spectre Flame Red. There was a time when 7 out of the 15 models, or just like at least like 30, 40, 50% of the models would come in Spectre Flame Red. And this is the only one, which is unique. Even last year, what did we have? Eh, maybe last year we didn't have one either. We just had the Audi. I'm just looking there. It seemed like, yeah, red Red is not as prominent as it used to be. But, um, you know, this one is clean with those racing stripes in the roundel. So we get some pretty clean super treasure hunts. But there you go, all 15. You have to pick one of those as your best, and you have to pick one of those as your worst. You have to make sure you vote in the poll. I would love to see your comments. So leave comments down below. 
Tell me why you picked such and such as best and such and such as worst. I want to see your reasons for sure. But make sure you follow the link and you vote. That's where your vote will be counted. Um, when, we, when we review this stuff, I'll definitely talk about some of the comments you make. But I definitely want to know why, but just make sure you vote. All right. Let's do this, guys. The poll is open. Go vote on your best and your worst, and we will get to it more. And also check Instagram for those tournaments as well. We're doing this all month. Thanks, everybody. Bye.